I'm just getting um, Instagram up. Ooh, I'm trying to get Instagram up. Comments, they go so fast, you could barely get to them. Jesus Christ. There we go. There we go. Hey, everybody. Uh, hold on, Instagram. I'm about to kill uh, Hold on, Instagram. I'm about to kill myself trying to get y'all straight. All right, there we go. Woo. Hi. Happy Saturday. No, I haven't been on in a couple days. i been busy. I am opening a new restaurant, so I'm a little preoccupied, huh? Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're going to make um, pound cakes and banana pudding. Uh, I'm going to do two types for you. The, you know, the, you know, not your mama's version that I love so much, that y'all love so much. And I'm going to do an old school custard. Um, so let's get started. Also, um, if you want the recipes for today, you can get the recipes one of two ways. So you can get them by joining the mailing list by going to DariusCooks.tv, right? Or you can um, join the Darius Cooks Facebook group and you'll get the recipes there. All right? I'm not drinking today. I'm having an 80 calorie, 12 grams of protein, Greek yogurt. All right. Go figure. All right. So let's look and see what I bought from Instacart because I did not go to the store. Buttermilk, we'll need that. Oh, this is um, almond milk. Almond milk because I like that with my cereal. Okay. Some sour cream. Cream cheese, which was not on sale. I did get some whole milk because we'll need that for um, the banana pudding. Okay. Uh, that's heavy cream. Okay. No, I'm not going to own. I do not keep these plastic bags in my house. Okay. This is for later. It's a. Uh, Microwave popcorn, cheddar cheese, and ultimate butter. Okay, so when I go watch, when I watch Greenleaf, and I get caught up on Greenleaf, I have a snack. Okay, now we are making banana pudding, so you know what that means. Ha ha ha. Okay, but because you're also fooling with Darius Cooks, that's what that means too. Okay, you know what that means, huh? Uh-oh. Warlord. Warlord. Okay, we have some bananas. I have some lime. This is for my crab my crab legs later. That's not for y'all. Okay, it's for my crab legs. Okay. And we got some sweet tail condensed milk. And then I also picked up a dozen of eggs. I think everything else I pretty much had. I'm okay with everything else. Like I think I had all this other stuff in my um in my house. Let me put this, let me put this out of the way. Put my milk up. And then let's get to getting. Let's get to getting. Okay, put the milk in the refrigerator. Alright, now. Uh the recipes, like I said, if you want to grab them, you can. They'll be in one or two places. Um, they will be either in my, um, you can grab them, but I'm looking for my, where's my cookbook? I can't cook without my cookbook. Um, you can get them by going to, um, joining the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv or the Darius Cooks Facebook group. Hold on. Somebody stole my cookbook. I gotta go order one.
I don't know the recipe by heart. What happened to my cookbook? All right, well, anyway, listen. Public announcement. <laughs> if you do need a copy of the cookbook, because what we're going to make is in this book, you can get one by going to DariusCooks.tv slash store, and then you can put in uh, the code Thanksgiving2018, and then you'll be able to save 30%, okay? Um, the ebook is also on sale, too. Okay. We will get both. Okay. Let's make room. And let's follow the recipe on page. Let's see. It's on page. We gotta find the page. I do not know the recipe by heart. Sorry, peeps. Not this one. I know a lot of them by heart, but not this one. Okay. Here we go. Page 194. Okay. We're going to make this, but we're going to make this in a bunt pan because I want I want a bunt cake, you know? So we're going to make this, but the recipe is on page 194. So the picture comes first and then the actual recipe. Okay, let's get the mixer together. We need that. Okay, we need this. So let's put the mixer in action. All right. And um, we're going to follow the book. Now, if you need a copy of this, you know, you can get this book by going to Darius Cooks. Can y'all type in the comments, DariusCooks.tv slash store? Okay. Oh, the oven supposed to be on 325. I got on 350. Hold on one second. I'm about to burn the house down. Uh, convection 320, uh oh, 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 convection 325 start. Okay, oven's at 325 and it's preheated, ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in my mixer just because it's a lot easier to do this, obviously, you know, in the mixer. Yeah, DariusCooks.tv slash store, okay. And then um, I want you to put in the, the discount code to save 30%. Um, Thanksgiving 2018. All right. What size is this? I don't know. It is a, it is a, it don't say. I don't know. Okay. So the first thing we do is we preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Okay. In a large bowl, let's get a large bowl. I have one of those. Okay. So the directions say in a large bowl, um, they want us to, they, <laughs> they want us to mix together the flour, baking soda, uh, and salt. Okay, so we need three cups of flour. That's not a problem. I, I got flour. Okay, if I had nothing else, I got flour. Let's get a measuring cup. Okay. And you know, I do not be with all that sifting and all that. I don't do all that, okay? But if you feel like you want to sift, then listen, by all means, sift away. Okay, so there's one. There is a two. And this is three. And then what it say? Three cups of flour. Okay, then it say, we're going to put it in here. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. The baking soda and the salt. So we need baking, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, we need a quarter teaspoon. First of all, we gotta find the baking soda. This ain't this ain't really the kind of show where everything is laid out. You know, we don't do that. And you don't do that at your house either. When you get ready to cook for your people, you gotta go look in cabinets, go faster, stop halfway through, run over to Kroger real fast, you know. So we're gonna do the same thing around here. This ain't that kind of show when um when ain't, ain't stuff ain't all prepared and stuff. Okay, okay. Baking soda goes in. Okay, then put the salt in here, and we're gonna set it aside. Then 
There's the salt. Now you set it aside like that. Okay? Now, whip together the butter and the sugar. Now, the one thing I'm going to do differently about this is I'm putting this in here. This is my addition to this pound cake. The pound cake is good by itself. The recipe is good. But I'm going to add in... Okay. That. Okay. How much butter we need? We need... Uh, one and one fourth cup of butter. All right, I have butter. Okay, and that is three. That's about three good sticks. I got that. Okay. Oh yes, I got that. Now remember, listen. If you want the recipes, I'm doing it for you live. Number one, or you can join the Darius Cooks Facebook group at DariusCooks.tv. I mean, <laughs> it's not a Darius Cooks. You can join the Facebook group by going to Facebook and searching for the Darius Cooks Facebook group. Or you can um, join the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv. You can do that. Okay. All right, so it's one and a quarter, but... That's really two and a half sticks, but I'm going to put them three in there because this the holidays and I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind, that part, okay? Now we're going to add in some sugar. You're going to put your little sugar in here, okay? You're going to put a little sugar, salty or unsalted, whatever is on sale. Since you, you don't taste this and be like, this is you, this is unsalted, but you've never done that. You've never tasted butter and you've gone, this is unsalted or this is salted. You've never done that in your whole life. It don't even matter. Whatever is on sale. If the salted is on sale, guess what you buy? Salted. If the unsalted is on sale, guess what you buy? Unsalted butter. That part. You see what I'm saying? It don't even matter. At the end of the day, just get real butter. No margarine. I see you. Y'all make that cornbread in mind with that margarine. I see you. Don't get that. You know, margarine is one molecule away from, um, it's one molecule away from, ooh, 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 sorry, sorry. Let's lock it in place. <laughs> it's one molecule away from uh, plastic. You know, the devil is busy. The devil is busy, y'all. Okay, okay, so let's whip together <laughs> on low. The flour, <laughs> okay, the flour, I mean the sugar, <laughs> the sugar and the butter, okay? Now, until it's fluffy, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a half of this uh, cream cheese, huh? Why not? I'm going to throw in a half of this, so this is four ounces of Cream cheese, that's on sale. Publix had cream cheese on sale. Philadelphia wasn't on sale. You see what I'm saying? You also never taste the cream cheese and go, this tastes like Publix cream cheese. You, you've never done that. So we're not gonna start today. You've never done that, okay? Okay, so in here, we put in the cream cheese because we're going for a real nice moist effect on this cake, Doc, okay? We want it nice and immersed. Let me get rid of this up. Okay, so this is a cream cheese, sour cream pound cake. And if if I, you know, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about going in there and get some Hennessy. And when it's come out, warming up me some Hennessy with some honey and some butter and a little sugar and making me a, Hennes a honey Hennessy syrup and swigging it over the top. I'm thinking about doing that, you know, when it get done. But I got some time to go into prayer. I don't have to think about that right now. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to decide right at this moment about that. I got some time to really be in consecration about what I want to do. You see what I'm saying? But that's really, okay, now we can let this go. You want this nice, 
and fluffy. And that's why the mixer is important, because you ain't gonna be doing this with your hand. Okay. Let me show you how this is beautiful. It ain't nothing but sugar and butter. It's gorgeous, okay? It's gorgeous. And a little cream cheese. You put this on shoe leather, it tastes good. You put this on your um, toast in the morning, it'd be amazing. Okay? Afternoon snack. You want it to be nice and pale like this. Look at that. You see how lovely this is? Look how, you see that? You want it to be nice and whippy and nice and pale. This is gorgeous. You see how thick and luscious this is? Look what you want. Okay, you want something like this hemp. Okay, now let's go and put in the, um. let's see. Put the eggs in one at a time. Okay, we're going to do six eggs okay because you need you need rise and the only way you get good rise is with eggs now don't put them your facebook video keeps stopping it's stopping i can't control it i don't know they don't like me on facebook i don't know i told you the devil is busy i told you that okay all right so that's one egg and you put them in one at a time Wipe your mouth. White. Okay. That's one. Here's the second. Oh, Lord. No shells, please. Here's the second one. All right. Here's the third one. Here's the fourth one. Mine did not stop, so we have them check Wi-Fi connections. Okay, please check your Wi-Fi connection. Some of y'all ain't paid y'all bills, and now the truth is coming out. Okay, please check your connection. Some of y'all ain't paid y'all cell phone, y'all uh, Wi-Fi internet bill, please. Check your stuff now before you start telling me it's my fault. Okay. All right, this is the last egg. So we're going to do six eggs, one at a time. <laughs> check your bill. Check your bill. Somebody call Comcast. You're going to be on the phone forever trying to get through to them, but call them. All right. I'm just going to scrape down the side. Hold on one second. I just want to scrape down the side. I want you to see this here. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm just scraping down because I want to make sure. Look at this. Lord, you, do you see this? Oh. Oh. This ain't nothing but eggs with the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep... We ain't, we ain't hardly finished, okay? Oh, Jesus. All right. Now... This say we got to add in, um, what we got to add in here now? We have to add in uh, the vanilla extract. Okay, I have that right here. Okay, vanilla extract. So we're going to put the vanilla in here. Now, you know, I like a lot of vanilla in mine. The recipe only calls for two teaspoons. So it depends on how big the cup of tea is that you're going to use the spoon for. Okay, see? If you're in London, that's one teaspoon. And then this is another teaspoon, okay? I like a, I like a fair amount in mine. You see what I'm saying? That way you know what's going on. You know what's happening, okay? I, it got to smell like something up in here. Okay. Now, 
we're going to add in this, this little bit of sour cream in here. So now we got cream cheese, sour cream. Can I use Madagascar bourbon vanilla? If it's on sale, if Madagascar bourbon vanilla is not on sale, I wouldn't use that. You see, I'm only going to use what's on sale. I'm putting about a fourth of a cup of sour cream in here. Okay, I wouldn't use. Why would you use Madagascar bourbon? I didn't say that. You could use it, but if it ain't on sale, why would you do that? Okay. All right, then we need a cup of buttermilk. But since I put in, since I already put in that um, sour cream, I'm going to bump this down to three quarter, three quarters of a cup, okay? I'm going to bump this down to three quarters, okay? Now you want to put, this is your flour, your sugar mixture that we worked on, okay? So you want to, I mean the flour and the salt and the baking soda, Lord Jesus. Okay, so we're gonna do this. This is what we're gonna do. I want you to put a little bit of this in at a time. Put some of that in like that, okay? Then cut the mixer on and I want you to mix this together. What kind of flour? The kind of flour that is on sale. That's it. This ain't rocket science. What kind of flour? If, if bread flour is on sale, you're buying bread flour. If all-purpose flour is on sale, you buy all-purpose. You see what I'm saying? You buy what's on sale. That's what you're doing. Okay? Now, you put a little buttermilk in here. Okay? This is called al alternatively. Okay? You don't want to add it all at one time because it's going to clump up on you. You see what I'm saying? And clumping is not good in this particular situation. Okay? But this is not hard, y'all. Buy what's on sale. You ask it. When the last time you went somewhere and said, you know, this pound cake doesn't taste quite right. I think this pound cake was made with, with high protein flour. You've never said that. Why start now? You see, why start now? Okay, we're gonna put another third of that in there. Okay, and we're gonna let this go. All right. So we're doing it alternatively. You put a little flour, you put a little buttermilk. You put a little more flour. You put a little more buttermilk. That way you, it's not clumping up on you. And you got everything all in there clumped up. Okay. Now let's scrape down the side. Because you really want to make sure every piece of this is really sort of well incorporated. You want a nice homogeneous mixture. Okay. That means all one for people who don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm very thrifty. If it's not on sale, what is we buying it for? You see what I'm saying? Okay, let's add in the rest of the buttermilk. And the buttermilk is going to interact with the baking soda, the acid in the buttermilk. You remember um, science class, right? Vinegar, acid, and baking soda is going to cause a chemical reaction. That's what's going to happen with our pound cake. And that chemical reaction is going to leave us a nice, lovely, uh, uh, very moist pound cake, okay? Look at that. Came in handy for something. All right. All right. Last of the flour goes in here. Last of that goes in there. All of it. Get it on out. Come on. Come on out. Come from amongst them. All right. And then the last. Ooh, ooh. On low. Or else you're going to be wearing it. Okay. Now let's talk about bunt pants. Not butt, but bunt. B-U-N-D-T. Okay, this is my cake pan I got right here, okay? Now this say it's non-stick, but that's the devil. The devil wants you to believe that this pan is non-stick and you ain't got to do nothing. The devil wants you to believe that. Okay, we don't want to overmix this. Look at this batter. This looks really, really dull. Look at this. This is our pound cake. Do you see this? Okay, this is our pound cake batter. Okay, let's just hold that to the side for one second. <laughs> okay, the devil wants you to believe 
that you ain't got to do nothing to this pen. I want you to understand the devil is yet a liar and a deceiver, okay? But the Bible di dictates to us that the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy your pound cake. And right now, on today, we're taking back that power, and we claim victory over all pound cakes for next week that's coming up in the name of Jesus, okay? We are claiming victory over pound cakes. I declare and decree that no pound cakes will get stuck in the pan on this week coming. Huh? <laughs> anybody believe with me? Or am I, by, am I out here by myself? Is there anybody believing with me or am I stuck out here by myself? You know, it's all right. I will be out here alone if I need to be. But I don't want your pound cakes getting stuck. So this is what we're going to do. I took some butter and I'm greasing this down, okay? Most of y'all have seen Jill Scott videos, so you know how to do this part real easy, okay? Some of you got three, four, five, nine kids. This part you never had no trouble with whatsoever, okay? So what you want to do is grease this up real good like this here, you see? And get it all in the cracks and the crevices, all right? And make sure that it's, it's nice up and through there, okay? Then what you want to do is I want you to take a little flour, okay? And I want you to take a little flour and I want you to dust the inside of this with your flour, like this here, okay? You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. And then I want you to roll it around, okay? This way, what's happening is you're getting the flour um, all the way stuck on that uh, butter you put in there, okay? This is important, okay? This is important. Get it on every crack, every crevice, including the middle. Some of you ain't never had no problem with the middle. Please don't have no problem now. I declare and decree that there will be no problems with the middle this Thanksgiving 2018. Huh? Okay. So I'm rolling this around, and then any excess, obviously, I want to shake up. Okay. So I'm tapping off the excess so that the inside looks like this. Some of you are quite familiar with what this looks like. This is not the first time you waxed anything, okay? So this is um the way <laughs> this is the way it's gonna look, okay? Some of you are quite familiar. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to get the pound cake uh, that we just made. This is the batter, right? And I want to get the batter off without killing myself. Okay. I'm going to get the batter off of the, uh, the beater paddle. Okay. Put that in a little water. We're going to wash that in a minute. All right. Then, I just want to smush. Sorry. Hold on. You know how we do. Okay. I just want to make sure I got all, all the flour incorporated, the last bits, all from the bottom. Everybody's happy. Everybody's in here. Right? And then, let's just put him in here and smush it around so that we evenly distribute the batter all over this cake. Okay? So this is the buttermilk, cream cheese, sour cream pound cake. A little bit of an adaptation to page 194 in my cookbook, which you can get today by going to DariusCooks.tv slash store. And then you can save a, a good 30% by putting in the code um, Thanksgiving 2018, okay? You can save 30% by putting the code in Thanksgiving 2018, all right? Okay. Now, this is all here, okay? You smush it around. If my grandmother was alive, she'd do that. Okay, release the air. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to put this pound cake in the oven unless you sit it on something in case you have some spillage. If something spill over, you're gonna be shamed. You see what I'm saying? Now, the devil can't make a fool of us. Okay? 
All right, put this in the oven. That's going to take uh, a good little 45 minutes or so, okay? 45 minutes to an hour, that's going to take. So let that do its thing. Meanwhile, what I can show you real quick is I'm going to show you uh, two banana pudding recipes. Uh, one I make all the time, and the other one I don't make all the time, but it's just as easy. Um, let me wash this out. Remember, this is a budget, uh, low-budget show. Right, so um, I got to wash the dishes in between. I don't have no extra one. I could just swap out, okay? But while I wash this, you can go make your book purchase so you can get the 101 recipes for your holiday table. It's an ebook you can download right now by going to dariuscooks.tv slash store. You can put in the code Thanksgiving2018 to save 30%. You can also grab this cookbook, which is where we just did this recipe. And we're about to do another recipe out this book uh, this is called Stories from My Grandmother's Kitchen. It's also available, DariusCooks.tv slash store. Put in the code Thanksgiving 2018 to save 30%. To save 40%. I'm sorry, it's 40%. Okay. Also, if you want the recipes we're working on, we're going to send them out to you. You can go to uh, join the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv or you can join the Darius Cooks Facebook group and we'll hook you up, okay? Let me wash this out. Hold, hold the line, please. It's a low-budget show, people. We don't have stuff ready. Okay, it's a low-budget show. Hold on. Now, let me show you this other, um, let me show you this other quick little recipe. I do this one a lot. Um, this is easy for company. This is like a no-brainer. This one you ain't even got to think about too hard. This one is just like, what we doing? We're going to make this? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to use the mixer, and it's so easy uh -oh, that you don't have to use this mixer. You can certainly just use like a regular uh, hand mixer if you have one, but before I mix up the cream Let me get another little bowl And let me show you what I like to do And normally you need a whisk for this so I take this French vanilla pudding And uh, I take the French vanilla pudding and listen if you don't have no if you don't have no uh, milk half and half Will work just as well, okay? Almond milk work just as well. Just don't use water. Use some some sort of um, dairy product. Okay. So okay, or you know fake dairy product. Okay. So that goes in there, and then here's some milk. This is whole milk. Okay. And the recipe calls for two cups. I do like a cup and a half. I like it on the, a little on the thick side. So I I do like a cup and a half. Okay. And you need a whisk for this because you got to get the lumps out. And I find that the only way to do that successfully is with a whisk. Okay? I, I try that spoon be leaving little lumps and stuff, and that's not, that's not of God. God don't like no lumps. Okay? He's calling, he, if the Lord is calling for a church without a spot or a wrinkle, you know he's calling for a banana pudding that's smooth and creamy. Huh? That's the Bible. That's the book. Okay? All right. That's smooth and creamy. Set that to the side for one second. We're gonna come back to that in a minute, okay? Meanwhile, I'm gonna take some whole, some cold, heavy cream. Now, a lot of y'all ask me, where do you get heavy cream from? And I'm like, the same, the grocery store, okay? Heavy cream is the same as um, whipping cream. It's the same thing, okay? Same situation, all right. Okay, that's a lot. Now we gotta whip this together. It's gonna to take a second to whip. But don't worry, it's gonna whip, okay? 
You spot it on low. You let it whip. You could do this by hand, but I don't know why you would, because that don't make no sense, okay? Let me get this other ball ready. Now this is what I like to do. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna let this whip on its own over there. Okay, let that whip. Okay, let me get a spoon. By this time, it don't take long for this to gel up and get thick. You see that? It already got thick on this. It do not take long for this to get thick. So we're gonna put this vanilla French vanilla put, now listen, if you can't find the French vanilla, it's okay. You can use regular vanilla. Just don't use that banana cream stuff. That is not good in this. Do not use that banana cream stuff. I don't like that in for this, okay? can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, the thing about banana pudding is it can't be too sweet. I don't like it when it's so sweet, it don't, it's too much. So if you notice, this ain't really that sweet. I didn't put no sugar in the cream. It's just cream by itself. You see what I'm saying? This is the sugar content and I'm only going to use one can, okay, right in here. Don't use more than one or you're gonna be shamed. Okay, all right, now you're gonna get in here and you're gonna mix this together real good. this up. See what see how it thinned out on you? You see how it thinned out? That's what you want. Okay. Okay, let me check on this cream. It's coming. Let me get a bowl to put all this in. Hold on. Too kind, because I know how y'all are. That ain't real banana pudding. Oh, you just hold on one second. I got you too, okay? You just hold on one second. Okay, hold on. My cream is almost done. It's still whipping. We're going to cut it up a little more. Oh, oh, we're going to cut it down some. If you make sure everything cold, it'll whip faster, but... It ain't as cold as it could be. It's a little, you know, it's cold, but it ain't, you know, cold, cold, okay? Now, if you happen to over whip your cream, don't worry. Just add you a little more cream, thin it out a little bit, okay? Oh, this look good, this looking good. Thank you for the book sales. I see you guys ordering the books. I can see the comments. Okay, now, we whip this together. This is whip. This is fresh whipped cream. Okay, and you can tell. Look at that. You see that? How nice and stiff this is. Okay. This is what you want. Now this has no sugar added to it, so this is not going to be too sweet. Cause I like banana pudding, but when it's just too sweet, it'd be a little too much for my taste buds. The Lord is not pleased. What the Bible say? The Bible do not say you are the sugar of the earth. Huh? What do the Bible say, people? The Bible say you are the salt of the earth. You cannot be walking around too sweet, okay? All right, so we're gonna take this whipped cream like this, okay? 
and we're gonna put this whipped cream off up in here like this, okay? Now, the reason we're adding whipped cream is because we want that light and fluffy situation that we just worked out, we want that, um, that viscosity, we want that in our banana pudding. So I'm going to fold in the whipped cream. I'm folding it in because I don't want to lose all the volume of the air that we just put in that cream. If I went in here and just stopped doing this, you would deflate the cream. Now you screw. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you don't want to go through this, I am perfectly okay with you going to the grocery store and getting some Cool Whip, okay? I am perfectly okay with you going to get some Cool Whip from the grocery store. But this is the holidays. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to, use, we're going to do the cream like this. Now, what you do is to fold this in is you cut down the middle here and you flip on over. You see what I'm saying? So essentially what we're doing is we're turning the contents in on themselves to make sure we fold it in. Listen, it's all in your wrist, Doc. Check out that wrist action. You see what I'm saying? We're folding this in because you don't want to lose all of the air that you just put in here. You see? Like this here. And what we're doing is we're incorporating it, but we're not losing that luscious volume that we worked so hard to achieve, okay? You know, this is a quick way to do this, but listen, it's also very um fancy too, okay? We is folding. That is very much a French technique, okay? And we is letting them have it with this banana pudding recipe. Okay, and it's not going to be too sweet. That's the part I like is that, you know, it's going to be sweet enough, but you're going to be able to really enjoy it without your teeth hurting. Okay, now look at this. Look how light and smooth this is. You see that? That's because I didn't get in here doing all like that here. You see? Look how lovely this is now. You see that? Okay. All right. You see where we're going with this? Don't play with me. I've been doing this for a long time. No, 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 long time. Oh, I'm looking for a spoon. Here you go. All right. Now, here's how we're going to build it. Okay. This is how we're going to build it. We're going to take, we're going to take a little of the, this is a, um, a ladle. Okay. We're going to take some of the filling that's nice and smooth and luscious, and we're going to put it on the bottom. Okay, and just smush it around. Because the thing about a banana pudding is you need good, even cookie to custard ratio. You see what I'm saying? And you need the cookies to soften some and really be nice. And I'm sorry, but I like extra cookies in mine too, okay? All right, so look at this. So we're gonna put these butter cookies down to the bottom like this here. And let, this is no is no special way to do this, okay? You could just dump this stuff in here. Ain't nobody gonna be like, oh, you didn't lay it in here nice and neat. Nobody will know that, okay? If they know all that, send them home. Now, along with the chessman butter cookies, I've got some Lorna Dune Um, shortbread cookies. Okay, Lorna June shortbread cookies. And listen, I thought I had some, but I don't have none. If you have some of them Delta cookies, you know, the Delta, um, Biscoff cookies. Okay, listen. Throw it up in there too. If you got some of that, put that on, go on here, okay? No, you could use vanilla wafers, but vanilla wafers are so 1990. This is the 2000s, sis. 2000s, okay? I'm going to put me a few pieces of banana in here. And if you don't like bananas, then guess what? Don't put them in there. 
But if you like bananas, I, I, I like the bananas. I do. I, I, I don't mind the bananas. There's some people who don't like the bananas. I don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah, the Delta cookies will be really good in here. Okay? All right. We're going to put another layer on top. And pile this on because you want this to get down into the nooks and into the crannies. See? Like this here. Look at that. You want this to really get in there. Okay? You want this to fall fresh on me. See that? Hmm? See? See, see where I'm going? Okay? I know this, the lighting is bad. All this white on white, I'm sorry. I should have had a color dish. But I don't have that. Okay, let's do another layer of cookies. And just to make sure it tastes good, I, I like doing this too. You know, ain't nothing wrong with putting a cookie down to the custard and doing. The thing about this, you're going to be surprised how not sweet this is. Okay? You're going to be surprised by not, it's not super sweet. So you can enjoy it. You can enjoy it. That part. All right? All right. More cookies. Pile them on. I'm putting on Delt. I'm putting on a Lorna Doom and this one. And chestnut butter cookies. Okay. Why not? It is the most wonderful time of the year, right? All right, let's do one more banana that we can fit it on here. And then we'll cover it and put it off in the fridge and let this sit. Give this a good four hours before you dig into it, if you can. Overnight is obviously a lot better, um, but give it a good four hours. And these are some good ripe bananas too, boy. They're Publix, you know, they got that good produce. All right. I'm going to smush these bananas down. Okay, and I just slice them. You could dice the bananas. You could puree the bananas and put them on. It don't really matter. Just put some bananas in here. Okay, that's it. And I'm going to be very careful with putting this other top layer on. Because, oof. Okay, and get it down in the nooks and get it down in the crannies real good like this, see? And make sure you cover the bananas because if you don't, they're going to turn brown and you're going to show up at the, you're gonna show up at the, at the dinner looking crazy and they're going to talk about you for bringing banana pudding with brown bananas, okay? Please do not get talked about. All right? Now, the good thing about this is when, it, when this gets nice and cool, it'll stiff up on you a little bit. Okay, so you can give a little peaks and valleys. Now, what I like doing is taking the leftover cookies, and you can put them on top if you want to. I'm just going to crumble some in my hand like this, and just sprinkle the leftover cookies oh, right on top. You see? So this is what you end up with. So I'm going to show you in one second. I know you probably can't see that good because it's white on white. And y'all swear it's my lighting and it's not my lighting. But I'm going to show you in one second. Let me just get this out of the way. So I can show you how this looks. And then we'll put this in the fridge. Let me look at my pound cake. Hold on. Woo. Woo. Come on, pound cake. Okay? Uh, 
I'm just trying to clean up. You know what the Bible says about cleanliness is next to godliness, huh? Now we're going to work on this other banana pudding. It's going to take a little time because it's what happens when you cook it from scratch. Hold on, I think I just blew the cream. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this was the other banana pudding, the second one. Okay, that we made. Hold on. I don't want to burn myself. I want, but I want y'all to see it. Okay, so you see that? There's one. Okay. Periscope, there's your view. Okay. Instagram, there's your view. Hold on, other Facebook, and hold on, YouTube. Let me show you again. So this is. The Facebook fan page, here's your view, Facebook business page, right? This is the Periscope view, all right? This is uh, Instagram, here's your view, okay? This is YouTube, this is your view, okay, YouTube? And then this is my Facebook personal page, or my Facebook friends, all right? So there you go. This is your um, Not Your Mama's banana pudding. The variation that I made, this is on the website. This is on YouTube, the whole bit. This is a variation. I'll put this in the fridge, though, so it can get chilled. So hold on. Let me put this in the refrigerator. Put this in the refrigerator. Hold on. Now, let's go ahead and make, I'm going to do this on this hot plate. It's going to take a minute, but, you know, let's go ahead and make this other banana pudding. Because, you know, people be like, well, that's not really banana pudding. I don't know what it is here, okay? But let me show you how to make the other one. All right, now. You could make this um, with eggs, but I'm actually gonna leave the eggs out of mine. Because I wanna show you that you don't necessarily have to have the eggs to make it delicious, okay? All right, so on the stove, or in this case, this is a, a hot plate. Let me get this whisk. Get your whisk ready, because we got to stir this. Okay, I'm just dropping in some butter. Let the butter melt. Okay, this is the magic ingredient. It's going to be the cornstarch, okay? All right, we're going to put cream and milk AKA half and half. Okay, cream and milk, AKA half and half. So, a cup and a half, about a cup and a half. I made this a million times, trust me, okay? Let's add in the sugar, because this don't have no sugar in it. All right, and again, if you want the recipe, don't worry. I'll get you the recipe. A pinch of salt. All right. And the cornstarch. Um, if you want the recipe, I'll get you the recipe. Um, you can get the recipe one of two ways by going to the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv or um, joining our Darius Cooks Facebook group, okay? So I'm using cornstarch 
and I'm whisking the cornstarch in. This is why you gotta get a whisk, okay? This is the part that's not fun. You really got to sit here and do this. I'm gonna sit here and do this with y'all, okay? I'm gonna sit here and do this with you. This is the same base for a banana cream pie, you know, any one of those. So a couple things you can do. Once your cream and your milk and your milk heat together, if for some reason um, your custard is a little too thick, you can thin it out by adding in a little bit more milk, obviously. And if it's a little too thin and you want it to be a little bit more creamier, you can then go ahead and add in some um, more cornstarch and then give it a stir. But you basically have to stir this until it gets to 212 degrees. Okay. I mean, you could walk away a little bit, but like not leave the kitchen, okay? I'm gonna drop in the vanilla as well right now. So two good tablespoons of vanilla. And we're basically making a custard. That's what we're doing. We're making a vanilla custard because some people don't think that banana pudding is banana pudding. Unless you stand here and do this. So why don't we talk? So while I'm stirring, why don't we do this? Um, Instagram is going to cut off. So why don't I restart Instagram? And then what we'll do is I got to stir so we can take some questions on Instagram. So let me end Instagram. Instagram, I'm going to end you and start you again. And then we can take questions on Instagram. So you guys hold on one second. I'm ending it and then I'm going to start it again like that. All right. So way of announcement, okay, while we're waiting for Instagram to come back up, if you want the recipes, I'll get them to you one of two ways. You can join the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv and we'll email you the recipes. Have you guys been getting the emails? We just sent out the tequila lime coast, um, coast lime, the tequila lime cranberry sauce recipe today, right? And then also, uh, we have been giving you um, just mad, mad, mad recipes for Thanksgiving. Also, if you join the Darius Cooks Facebook group, we'll put them there as well. All right? All right. So while I'm stirring, let's see what happens on Instagram. What do we have? Okay, we have Brown Love or Brown Dove. Let's see if she joins us. Let's see if Brown Dove joins. It says connecting. Hello? Brown Dove? I can hear you. Now you're not gonna waste our time. Hello? Let me let her go, hold on. She, oh, she gone. She playing with us. Okay, hold on. We got one more. Who is this? Uh-oh. Gemma James. She was crying. What was she crying for? Hi, Gemma. Hello? How are you? I am amazing. How are you? Good. You got to clean your camera. You got a little um, ear juice. Use your shirt or something to clean your camera. Not, no. You, Is it the lighting? It's the lens on the camera. Take your shirt and run it across the lens on your camera. You were talking on your phone and you got ear juice on there. Stop it. No, I'm serious. Yeah, take the take your shirt and just rub it across the lens of the camera. I did. No, you couldn't have, girl. You just as cloudy and angelic as you want to. Well, I just want to say you look amazing. Oh, you thank look you. Great. I keep up the good work. Thank you. What you doing? You cooking? No, I'm not. You I didn't eating? Think, I didn't think you was gonna pick this up. Huh? Why you ain't think that? You called for me. I know, but I just thought you had so many followers. I know, but I cherish every one of them. Okay, so I'm not going to waste your time. I just definitely wanted to say you look amazing. 
Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate that. And you keep up this journey. Um, and I love your vegan dishes. Okay, thank you. We got a whole lot more coming, okay? So stay tuned. Okay. All right. Okay, see you later. She had an Android. She had an Android. Click, that's what it was. Because that thing was just as cloudy as it wanted to be. Okay? Come on, we got one more. Oh, now I'm not finna get nine. It's eight of y'all. I'm not finna get nine. Uh-uh. We finna do one more. How you get it on? I can't even connect, y'all. This is the devil. Wait, how you do it? Hold on. Oh, view. Okay, let me pick one person. Who is this? Karen. Let's do Karen. Okay. Hey, Karen. I can't hear you. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? I hear you now. Hey, sis. Hi, how are you? I'm oh. at work. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Okay, this is the thing. I tried to make a macaroni and cheese. Okay. My husband said it was good. But? but I think the but is the different cheeses I, I didn't really like. Okay. What'd you put in there? What did you use? You know, I, you know, I can't pronounce all the cheeses you use. I use some Gouda. Okay. I use um, some white cheddar. Yep. Um, some, is, how do you say it? Havarti? Havarti. Okay, I use some of that. Yep. Um, I use some Velveeta. Yep. And I use something else. Okay, well, you know, I, you can choose whatever cheeses you want. If you want to just keep it basic with cheddar and white cheddar, you could. That's up to you. Um, I mean, cheese is a preference, but just make sure you season that cream sauce and you're good. You can put whatever cheese you want to put in there. Okay, so I did my test run. So I'm going to do it again for Thanksgiving. So <laughs> I'm going to, you know, tweak it. Just How was the consistency and all that? It was It was fine. It was okay, good. just the cheese. Okay, just switch the cheeses. That's all. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. Let me know how it come out. I will. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. All right. So you see what's happened now from that stirring, okay? So for all you people who go, you have to put eggs in it to get it thick, you don't, okay? We basically just sat here and made a sweetened vanilla custard, okay? We did that literally just from stirring and adding the cornstarch, okay? So you don't necessarily have to put the eggs in there, okay? Now, let's put this one together. Okay, same deal as before. All right, same deal as before. Another bowl, another container. Okay, you see that? You see how great this is? So this is a vanilla, this is a warm vanilla custard. I'm actually gonna taste it. And the good thing about this one is you can control how much, look at this, look at that. You see how it coats the back of that spoon? Ugh. So you can control how much sugar you put in so you don't make it too sweet and you just stir it constantly. And as soon as it comes to 212 degrees, okay. Wow. All right. Wow. Mm. Now that's good. Look at it. And the same thing will happen. As soon as it thickens on us, and it, it'll, it'll do this, and as soon as it cools, it'll stiffen up, okay? So let's put a little bit in the bottom. And we're gonna do the same thing we just got done doing, okay? I got another container <laughs> of cookies, okay? Uh, you look great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's delicious, okay? It is delicious. 
the thing about it is like you could when you put that extra vanilla, you could really taste like the pureness of if you get really good vanilla, you could taste the pureness of that vanilla in there. Man, that is really good. That's some good stuff. Okay. I mean, how bad could it be? Heavy uh, heavy cream, whole milk, sugar, butter, vanilla, and cornstarch. I mean, is there a way that could turn out bad? Probably not, right? Okay, so let's do the same thing. Double cookies in this piece. So I'm using uh, Lorna Doom. If you want to use vanilla wafers, okay, use the vanilla wafers. The other cookies I said to use were um, um, Biscoff, the Delta cookies. Okay, you can use the Delta cookies. If you want to. All right. Here we go with the banana. All right, and then we'll do the same thing. So just layer it up. And again, if you don't like bananas, don't add bananas. But I happen to be a banana fan, okay? And remember, when you're making this, um, you might make the mistake, I've done that once or twice, of adding uh, not enough, look at that, adding not enough um, cornstarch, so sometimes it'll be a little too too loose. You just add more cornstarch, that's all you gotta do, right? And you keep stirring it, it'll thicken up. Or if you added too much cornstarch, and it's a little too thick on you, which again, too thick happens as well, right? You just throw in a little bit more uh, milk, give it a stir, and you thin it out some so you're good to go, okay? So, okay, first layer down. Okay, what is this? This is, uh, it is Emil Henry, it sure is. Come on, homemakers. <laughs> yeah, it's an Emil Henry um, baking dish. I don't know where I got it from though, probably Target. You know, when I'm out and I see something that looks nice, I just pick it up. I don't know what I'll ever use it for. It's cornstarch fattening. No, sis, it's like using, well, no, it's not fattening in that way. Mm -mm. But it'll help thicken it without using eggs. Okay, that part. All right, so I'm adding in the next layer of cookies. So I'm, again, I'm using the Lorna Dunes and I'm using uh, chestnut butter cookies. And let's throw this last uh, banana on top of here. Now this one, what I would do when it's all done is I would make a whipped cream like we just did. And I would top it with billows of fresh whipped cream, okay? That's what I would do. I went to Greens and Gravy, you rock. Thank you. Listen, I'm opening a new restaurant. Do y'all know that? We've not talked about that. I'm opening a new restaurant. December 1st, if you're in town November 30th, we'll be open November 30th. This is going to open the doors November 30th, like around 12 noon, called Soul Crab, okay? Soul Crab, because you should be able to get collard greens with your crab legs, okay? We're going to have tequila, uh, lime butter. We're going to have Hennessy garlic butter. We're going to have jerk butter for the crab. All good things are happening at Soul Crab. So it's in College Park, Georgia. Uh, right next to the airport, 3725 Main Street in uh, College Park, Georgia, 30337. Come see us in 12 days, 11 days, whatever. 12, 11, come see us real soon, okay? Full bar and full bakery. So we're gonna be turning out desserts and uh, all the good drinks as well, okay? Now, this recipe, I will, I will email to you um, if you want me to, you just sign up to the Darius Cooks mailing list by going to DariusCooks.tv and you sign up for the mailing list over there. Or you could join the Darius Cooks Facebook group and then we'll get you the recipes. We've been emailing them every single day to get you guys ready and prepare for Thanksgiving. Uh, one day next week, we're going to do a holiday hotline where I just go live and just take questions from you. Okay, so we'll do a holiday hotline one day next week. That way you guys are all ready to go. 
Um, also, if you want to grab the cookbook, so we have two books. There's the original stories from my grandmother's kitchen, and there is 101 recipes for your holiday table. Those books are available by going to DariusCooks.tv slash store, and you can save 40%, okay, by using the discount code Thanksgiving 2018, okay? So there should be no reason this year that your Thanksgiving is womp womp. Okay, you got more than enough resources. We're giving you all the recipes. We've gone live. I'm showing you everything. Okay, so this one, again, same deal. Fresh custard that I made without the eggs. Okay, mind blown. We'll go in the fridge to get nice and cold as well. oven is that pound cake. It's not ready yet, but I'm going to show you. This is the pound cake that we started with the um, with the sour cream, the buttermilk, the cream cheese, the whole bit. It's not ready yet, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. It's not ready yet, but I'm going to show you what it's looking like. Okay, it's not ready yet, but I'm showing you where we going, huh? Back in the oven. All right, so that needs like 45 minutes to an hour to cook, but that's it. So I've just demoed for you uh, banana pudding. Two ways you have the nacho mamas real easy way and then you also have the uh custard that i made from scratch for you very very simple to do um then we did that buttermilk pound cake it's on page 194 so if you want to know like okay where'd you get it from uh it's page 194 of the book here's the photo right and you could do this a bunch of different ways. If you wanted to, you can do a lemon lime glaze on top. I'm feeling sort of Hennessy brown sugar, butter, um, honey. So like a Hennessy honey brown sugar situation where you make a glaze and then, you know, you're good to go that way. I thought you couldn't open an oven when baking a cake. Well, it's almost done. It's, the cake is almost done. So you don't want to open the oven while the cake is not like set, you know, um, and then that would be horrendous. Um, so I did a variation. I just added some uh, cream cheese and I added sour cream and then buttermilk to that pound cake recipe. Okay. Um, that's it, y'all. I'm done. All right. Uh, again, if you want the recipes, you know where to go. Sign up to the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv or join the Darius Cooks Facebook group on Facebook and we'll rock out that way. Also, what I want you to do is if you want a copy of this cookbook, or the copy of the ebook, the holiday ebook. It's called 101 Recipes for Your Holiday Table. You can get it by going to DariusCooks.tv slash store. And then you type in the code Thanksgiving2018 to save 40%. All right. Two things I want to tell you guys, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it is my food. Until next time, I do want to wish you guys happy cooking and baking from my heart to yours. <laughs> Bye, y'all.